Let's take a look at how to find a sample variance on TID34, TI34 calculator. Specifically, we're going to find a sample variance of the following data. So let's go ahead and put that data in. So I'll press my data button. Now I already have numbers here. To delete uh, the individual numbers, you just press your delete over and over. Now if you want to delete the entire list fast, you press your data button one more time, and then you get to the clear menu. So you can press enter on clear L1 and that clears them all out. Those are actually the same numbers I'm going to input here, but I just wanted to show how to clean the list out and so forth. So I, uh, I'm going to type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So I got 13, enter, 19, enter, uh, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. Now I'd recommend, if you're in a statistics course, to go up and do an up arrow and double check all your numbers. We'll assume I did all mine right. Um, sometimes a false assumption. but Then you want to exit out. So you do second mode to exit out. Now see above the data it says stat. So we're going to do second, then data to get to the stat. And we want to choose one of our stats because we had a single list of numbers. So I press enter on it. Uh, it defaults to L1 and 1. You can take those as your default. Um, if I put my data in another list, then I want to highlight that and press enter on it to select it. Frequency is if you have a huge uh, amount of numbers you're entering. Like you got 218 year olds. You would put 18 in L1, put 200 in L2, and your frequency would be L2. But I'm a down arrow because we leave those uh, all as default and choose calculate. Okay, now um, this right here is our sample standard deviation. To find our sample variance, we're going to square that. Now um, I'm going to type that in again. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I got 15. I may have better write it down first. Sometimes when you start typing it over, it uh, wipes out the screen. So. Let's see, 15.10886421. Okay, so I got 15. Yeah, I did get rid of them. Okay, 15.10886421. And then I'll push my, um, my X squared button. And then press Enter. And that gives us our variance. And let me write this down. Uh, around two decimal places, we've got 228.28. Now, you don't want to, um, to round too early. You don't want to round this to like 15.1 and then square it. Because if you did that, 15.1 squared would give you 228.01. So you come up with slightly different. So depending upon where you round in the middle of a problem, sometimes you come up with radically different answers. Now, if I um, do my second data and choose one of our stats and choose calculate, um, you see how this uh, the sample standard deviation is our third one. If I type three, it puts SX on there for me, and then I can push the X squared and then push enter. So this is a way you don't have to type in that entire number over um, like we did. Um, you can just access it directly. Now we get a mixed number, and that's not good. Um, but um, let's see, it should be a mixed number. Uh, here's fraction decimal. Let's try that one. I'll do second, in over D, and then press enter. There we go. And we've got 228 and, and uh, two decimal places would be 0.28. So we get the same answer. Let me show that again, in case you didn't catch it. Uh, if I do second data and choose um, one of our stats and choose calculate, you can only do this right after you've done this function. See the numbers that's in front of them? If you want to use SX, then you just type 3. And then you can uh, square it, um, there it is, X squared, and then push enter. So anyway, uh, in this video, we took a look at how to find the uh, sample variance of a set of numbers on a TI-34 calculator.